What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Um, I had big plans, like totally show up, like fully ready and organized and script written about self-sabotage, but I didn't. So I'm just going to do this instead. And basically what this is, is me just riffing um, about life in general as a caregiver for my mom who has dementia. Because, because, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had big plans to be super organized for this 25 days of Christmas. And I was going to do some different things. going to like do some video, some self-help videos and stuff, but you know what? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. So the last couple of days just have been sometimes look, when you are dealing with something like what I'm dealing with, and it doesn't have to be the exact same thing, just something really hard that you're going through that is super emotionally draining and also physically draining and also just exhausting because it fills you all the time. Um, it's with you all the time. It doesn't go away. Some days, sometimes you just don't want to do anything. You have no motivation and that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's fine. You got to do what you got to do. Um, and so that's just where I've been right now. That's where I am. So I um, love my mother very much, but she is definitely, definitely, that's my chair, by the way, that weird sound. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, she's definitely not the same woman I have known for most of my life. And it has been a quick change when I think about it. In 2019, she was the, in the fall of 2019, like basically. So 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So four years ago, four years ago, she just retired from being a justice of the peace. What? Like she was sitting on a bench as a justice of the peace, making decisions about people's lives and doing holding bail hearings and understanding evidence and having to write big decisions that are pages long and stuff. And today, today that could never happen. <laughs> she can't write, she can't read. hard it's really hard to see somebody that you love so much just um disappear before your eyes every day every day I promised myself I would not cry in this video, so I'm going to do my best to not do that. <laughs> um, you know, what's interesting, though, is that my mom was always, like, nervous and always wanted to, was always, like, really afraid of what everybody thought of her. Like, really crazy. Um... And, like, wouldn't really make jokes because, like, she'd be worried that, like, she'd look dumb or people wouldn't think she was funny or whatever. And, like, that's one thing I will say is the lady she is now, she's funny. <laughs> she's funny. And not funny because I'm, like, not funny. Just, like, like she's, she's actually, she makes jokes. And you're like, mom, that was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, she does things that are just funny in general. I'm like, what is happening right now? In the summer, um, my dad came by to visit me and um, 
we went into the backyard and she was not in the backyard. She was watching TV. And so I came in to, I was hot, like it was hot outside. And so I was like, I'm just going to come in and change my top real quick. So I came in and she's in the kitchen and she says, well, I guess I can't go in the backyard. I said, you were, what? You were never planning on going in the backyard. And she just kind of smirked. Like she's just being a shit disturber for no reason. <laughs> Why? <laughs> she's so crazy. Um, so 90% of the time I have to get the shower turned on for her now because she can't um, understand how hot and cold water work on the um, handle anymore. We've lived here for 20 years. Well, she has. I mean, I did not live here for a number of years. Um, I moved back in 2017, I think, for no reason. I mean, for reasons, but not because there was anything going on with her. It had nothing to do with her. I moved back here for my own personal reasons that I'm not going to talk about right now. Um, I uh, lived in a different city before that for like eight years. Um, anyway, so I just kind of happened to move back in and then she retired, COVID hit and just kind of, and then things started changing and you know, it wasn't like I decided to live this life. It just kind of, you know, it just happened. You just got to roll with it. And like, that's, that's how it goes sometimes, you know? Um, hmm. You know, I do have plans to make a, a far more better video about this, like way better. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's so crazy just living this life and sort of the unknowns of what this means in the future. And there's so many questions. I don't have kids and I'm single. Um, I'm 46 right now. I will be 47 in January. It is December 5th right now. And she is, she just turned 79 last month. So she's young, like you know, we think she has Lewy body dementia and with dementia, what happens with dementia is like, you don't know, like you, the doctor's kind of guessing in a way, right? Like they don't really know. Um, and dementia is like an umbrella, right? So it's like saying I have cancer. I don't like, but like when someone says I have cancer, okay, they have cancer, but there are a plethora of different types of cancer, right? So there is breast cancer, brain cancer, like tumors, um, lung cancer, right? Like skin cancer, many different types of cancer that are all dealt with and all have their own journey all in their own way, right? Dementia, same thing. So there is dementia and under dementia, there are things like Alzheimer's, Lewy body, frontal lobe, right? There's all these different types of dementia, brain damage, like all these different things. And so we've had an MRI, we've had um, blood work done, you know, lots of things, lots of things. Um, and with some of the things that are happening with her, because Louis body dementia is a little bit of a different beast, um, it comes with hallucinations and um vision problem like I'm being able to read and vision issues and things like that and so we definitely have some of that going on she has hallucinations where people dead people are in her room trying to murder her pretty scary happens to her while she's sleeping in the middle of the night um and sometimes they'll just be walking around her room just like lots of dead people walking around. She said to me, and this is the kind of stuff that you go, whoa, like what the fuck is going on right now? Because like she said to me, don't you see dead people in your room? I was like, no, but that doesn't mean it's not valid for you, right? Like it's super important to make sure that 
she doesn't feel like like that anything that happens to her is like wrong right like it's not wrong there's nothing she can do about it so you have to make sure that anybody who's going through this that you hear them and everything they think and feel and see is valid and while I might not see it that doesn't make it untrue for them right it's not helpful to say well that's not a thing it's not helpful that's not helpful what's helpful is to say something like okay that must be really scary I, I've never had that happen but I've had really scary nightmares that you know something so it's relatable to her and she doesn't feel like um you know she's weird or something strange is happening right um so yeah so that's pretty scary she also will see things that aren't there at all just and that's happening at nighttime right so it's kind of like is she half asleep is it a nightmare i mean it's hard to know it's hard to know what how it's all unfolding um but then she'll also she had a a a hallucination one night where she heard me outside having a party on our front lawn which i was not i was sleeping it was 3 a.m but i heard the door open thankfully i i'm not sure if i was awake at that moment or if i if it woke me up i don't really remember um but i where is that coming from <laughs> um but I like like ran and was like mom what, what is happening and she was super confused about how I could be in the house when she thought I was outside and she had the door open and she's looking in her bathrobe and I was like what are you doing and she said oh I, I heard you outside laughing with the neighbor or with people with the people and I said okay okay well I'm right here so let's close the door and come on back in um I said, do you see the people outside right now? Are they still there? And she said, yeah. And I said, oh, okay. Do they know you're here? Do they see you? And she said, no, I don't think they saw me. And I said, okay, well, don't worry about them. It's probably just the neighbors. There's nobody there. Like, <laughs> it's wild. Um, and the people she sees at night, the, the dead people, she doesn't know them. Like, doesn't know who they are uh that's wild and she will see like my dog in places where my dog is not the other night she actually saw another dog in the house and like was following it into my room and it, there was no buffy was with me downstairs so i was wild <laughs> Well, uh, she can't cook anymore. So I do all the cooking, all the cleaning, um, not all the cleaning. Like she'll, if you, if you give her a vacuum and just, just let her go to town a bit. It's harder though, because the vacuum's heavy and she gets really out of breath. And so, you know, I have to stop her and make her sit down because she can't, she can't manage anymore and understand that she's out of breath and like, that's not good. So, um, she still knows who I am. That's good. I mean, the other night, two weeks ago, maybe though, she definitely did not know who I was. And she was terrified of me. She, it's like, and this is something that happens to Louie Bunny. It's like she, she could, she knew that I, she knew that it was physically me, but it's like, she didn't believe that it was me or something like It was the worst moment for me. I've always said, I've always said, as long as she knows that she's safe with me, as long as she knows, even if she doesn't know who I am, as long as she knows that I am safe, then we'll make it. I went into her room and uh, to get Buffy to take her out. Buffy was on her bed. They were sleeping. It was still early, nine o'clock maybe. Um, and she like woke up and was like, "What? Who? What's going on?" And I said, "Mom, it's okay. It's me. It's me." 
just like, no, no, turn the light on, turn the light on. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I turned the light on. I said, mom, it's me, it's me, it's okay. And she was looking at me like terrified, terrified. It was only a few seconds, but that was scary. So this is definitely a journey and I never know what's going to happen day to day. And some days are tough and some days are less tough, you know? She does have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. She goes to a group now. Um, she's there for most of the day, like 10 till three or something. And um, that's great because when she's there, I know she's safe and busy. And I can focus on what I have to do because I also, well, I have this fun little YouTube channel that takes up a lot more of my time than I expected. Um, I also have my own business and I have to make money <laughs> to survive. And that's been really hard. This year has been really, really, really tough. My toughest, honestly, probably my toughest year, both obviously with what's going on, but the emotional toll it's taken on me and the level of, I've never felt so unmotivated to make sales. Like, it's brutal. It's brutal. Not the best. <laughs> problematic. It's going to be problematic soon if I don't figure out how I'm going to make this happen. I have to make a shift in my business because the way that I do my business now clearly is not going to work. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the motivation to be able to do what I need to do. So I've got to shift to the way that I do business so that I can make money in a very different way than I have before. So that's interesting. <laughs> so I'm working out. Um, anyway, so I'm not sure this is actually going to be, I did say that all the videos in 25 days were going to be 25 minutes. I'm not sure this will be 25 minutes. Um, but yeah, this is where we are today. And I just felt like I couldn't make it happen the way that I wanted to, but I didn't want to not show up. So if you have any questions, by all means, I'm happy to answer them, add any more value that I can. Uh, like I said, I probably will do a be much better video about this at a later time. I'm not sure that it'll be on this channel. I don't know. You know, you just kind of start something like even this YouTube channel. Like I just was like, I do work out and I like working out. But it's hard to stay motivated, as I just explained. So I started the YouTube channel to force me to be accountable. Right? It makes me show up. Even with my, I don't even know, 150 subscribers, right? Like, I mean, I started the 12 week thing. I had like, I don't know, 10 subscribers or something. <laughs> Gotta show up for those 10 people who subscribed to my channel years ago and have no idea that I'm even doing this, but that's fine, whatever. Um, but yeah. I don't know if it'll keep going. I have no idea. I'm just going day by day right now. Everything is day by day. It's very difficult for me to think too far in the future just because there's just too many variables. Anyway, that's the video for today. Tomorrow we will be back to fitness. I appreciate you. Um, and if you're going through anything like I am, know that you are not alone. If you want to know about places to go, for instance, I'm in Canada, uh, Ontario, Canada, the Salvation Army, amazing. Alzheimer's Society, amazing. Um, 
get a good doctor um, and find people you can talk to and find people that are going through what you're going through. There's a great Facebook group, especially for Louis body. If that's something you're dealing with. Um, find a small group of people. I have one that I meet with once a month and we just share. There's lots of crying <laughs> and that's okay. Um, use humor as much as you can. Cherish the moments you have with the lucidity when they're lucid and really there. Forgive yourself for the guilt you feel. Forgive yourself for not being perfect. Every day is not going to be perfect. You're not going to be able to show up every day as your best self, and that's okay. It happens. All right, that's it for today. <laughs>